What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today I don't really have enough time to go over Sphere Online Judge for a Spodge question. So today I'm just going to go over my review on after doing 36 problems of Spodge, what I th think about this website. So the first thing I would think about about Spodge is that um, it's actually really, really good, all right? So what I like about it is that uh, when you go on the front of Spodge, um, well, they give you all the latest problems here, which is, that's pretty good. Um, you have a choice of doing Spodge in other languages, so like Polish, Vietnamese, Portuguese, Bolivia, Armenian. I didn't even know what Armenian means, but like if you go on Armenian, wow, that's just really cool, man. I guess Spodge in Armenian. So that's a good prop is that like if you want to be confused about other languages, that really helps you. But besides that, uh, Spodge is really good. And why is because they have a lot of less a lot of classical problems. So we go on classical problems. Um, uh, you, you don't, well... Normally you would do what you do is that you would sort by all the users that actually solved it so that it's all the easiest to hardest. So that's a good part about Spodge is that if you click on one of these, it actually sorts it. Like the top of parts of these. But anyway, besides that, um, you also see like the upvotes for the people that have like the problems that have the best quality. So that's pretty good. You could sort by the quality number, see how many people who liked it. Um, I'm not really so sure what this is, this difficulty C. Uh, but I do know it's very pretty. See, like a lot, a lot of blues and the green and the blue and the green. So, like, I don't, I don't know what this means. Is it difficulty or like I don't know what is it supposed to represent? There's 25 here, and they're also numbers. So maybe it represents like some kind of symbolism or something. I don't know. But yeah, you could also sort it by accuracy. I'm not sure why you would care about what other people got accurate if you're 100% got accurate, because like it really depends on the difficulty, right? Oh, and some people get like. Some problems are negative. I don't know what that means either. And some of these are like red. So I don't know what this means. Anyway. Um, so now let's actually talk about the actual problem statements on Spodge. Because like that's really what matters. Um, personally, uh, when you go on Spodge, the problem is, is that uh, I, don't, I, I don't really like reading the stories. Like I don't care about building fences. So that's the that's thing. Uh, another thing like there's like anti-blob system i don't really care about jimmy and his second year at primary school and what i have to do i kind of just want to just write the algorithms to be honest but hey the good thing about spodge is that you have good stories so like if you enjoy like reading stories this is a good good to learn about spodge because good to learn about algorithms because like you learn about uh reading stories about multiple people i mean i mean learning about jimmy on with his fence problem and also about aggressive cows it really helps you, you know, sometimes uh, stalls, you need to figure, figure out how to stop these aggressive cows from affecting Jimmy. Anyway, besides that, a good thing I like about Spodge is that, uh, look at this, like, oh, whoops. Sometimes the problems, the pictures of the problem statements are just, uh, they, they're not very helpful. Like, uh, I don't really know how am I supposed to, like, you know, give the cards for this. This is this is this isn't really a hundred percent helpful for like the next next pyramid I'm supposed to build. Um, like sometimes pictures like this doesn't really help you at all. But um, besides that, besides the pictures, I wouldn't say pictures are yeah pictures do actually affect like the problem count. So sometimes that's a problem. But anyway, um, yeah. Besides like all this stories telling. Good thing about Spodge is there's a lot of hashtags. So if you go on the if you go on the tags. You can see like which problem which if you want to go uh, to solve the problem, right? So they have like a bunch of hashtags for the problem sets. So there, there, there are like 326 dynamic programming problems. So that's good if you want to learn about dynamic programming. And also a bunch of these problems. Oh, there's only 41 bin masks. I didn't even know that. Wow. That's cool. But yeah, uh, if you would go here and just go through like the popular tags, you could find whichever t a problem that you have in algorithms, and then you could actually solve that yourself. So that's a good thing about Spodge. But yeah, good thing about Spodge, you could also uh, mark something as to do. I don't really know how to do that, but they don't really give it to you. Uh, it's like basics riddles. I don't know what this. Oh, so you have like basic problems also. They also have riddles. I didn't even know that. Let's let's go on riddles. Kill me instantly. Huh. Okay, that's a cool riddle. But anyway, uh, yeah. So th that's what I think about Spodge. Um, the only downside about Spodge is that, like, I would say, just long problem statements. I'm really lazy to read it. Like, personally, I don't really care what Jimmy does, because Jimmy's just Jimmy. 
But yeah, another th oh yeah, last thing about Spodge, if you go on your profile, uh, I really shouldn't be giving on profile because like people would stalk me. But anyway, if you go on a profile, you could see like the problems you solved and the submissions. So for me, I I got a lot of wrong submissions, so that's good if you want to see how many wrong submissions you got. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. This is just my review on what I think about Sphere Online Judge Spodge. They got a lot of good problems. Personally, I think um, maybe CSES are better. Uh, CSES. I've done some of that already, and I think CSES has better problem sets. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, this is my Spodge review on why Sphere Online Judge is good. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.